breathe new life into an old sofa of using cushions the right way and how to freshen up that traditional dining space. That's all coming up. And we're back with uh, Heidi Reimer Epps, who is the founder of Botanical Paper Works. And of course, we just made some great paper. And this is some of your seed paper that <laughs> yeah, you made. Right? This is what right. you're really well known for. Exactly. This is the paper that's embedded with wildflower seeds. Mm -hmm. So when you receive a card or a journal, then when you're done with it, you can plant it in a, in a pot of soil or in the ground, and it'll grow flowers right out of the paper. See, I think that is so cool. <laughs> and amazing, too, because that way there is no waste. Exactly. Right? And even from the very beginning, we're collecting post-consumer waste from local businesses that mm -hmm. were previously just putting in the landfill yeah. so now we collect that paper and then we use it in our production process so from start to finish it's a very eco-friendly product that's great and it's you know it's a beautiful uh, product that you have in the end and we're gonna do some uh, we're gonna make some cards right that's right I want to show you how to make this card here which I've used okay. um, the plantable seed paper as the back mm -hmm. and then in keeping with the Earth Day theme I've gone to the recycling bin for some supplies and so what is that little metal piece there you might ask what's so cute <laughs> like this little heart is adorable it is um, pieces of a pop can that oh. we uh, t t cut open like this. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you. It is so easy. Okay. I think if you're doing this craft with a child, you'd want the adult to do this part because right. it's a little sharp. Yeah, a little edges. sharp. But then there's the piece. Right. And what we're going to do is round off those edges. So why don't I give this to you and you okay. can just round that off. So what we're doing is, uh, so we're just starting with a piece of paper that, that we've got here. Yeah. So we'll take a piece of paper. We're going to fold it in half, okay. and then onto that, we're going to take a pen or something pointy, so in mm -hmm. this case, I think you could use the tip of the scissors, okay. and draw a pattern on there, but you've got to draw it in reverse. So I did a heart pattern on my right, card. Right, on this card. Mm -hmm. okay. So is there anything that you want to etch on um, there? <laughs> all right, let me see. I'll, I'll start this, and you're going to fold and up the paper I'm for gonna the card. I'm going to fold up the card, yeah. Do I just draw on it like I just Yeah, you just draw do? on it like you would and then when you flip it over then you're going to see the pattern kind of poking out from uh, okay. from the other direction on the nice silver side. Then while you're doing that, the other thing that I did was I went into the recycling box and I wanted some accent material to go behind the metal piece. Ah, right. And so I found this nice box from Cornelia Bean. <laughs> They've got uh, the fabulous I love coloring. Where you go for your product is great. Like, I want to go hunt to the recycling for something to, to use. <laughs> so I just cut out this little panel here and that's what I used for the back of my uh, of the, the, the silver piece. I layered it with a plantable paper right. and then your, the piece. So how are you doing there? Good, I think. Look I'm having to flip it over. over to see. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, okay. okay. So a little I guess maybe I didn't press hard enough. You can go a little deeper, but right. you can always retrace that. Yeah. And then this is the result here that you're going to get is something similar to this. Oh. And so we use the glue gun then okay. to glue this from the box on and this and layer it onto the plantable card. Well, that's a very easy craft to make. Mm -hmm. it's really easy. easy for the kids to do. And you can switch it up by using whatever paper you have in stock and whatever items you have from the recycling bin. But yeah, and that's that's amazing because you're teaching them to reuse the stuff that they already have and stuff that you pretty much would throw out otherwise. Exactly. Right? Another quick little book idea that we've got using leftover bits of yarn because mm -hmm. I know I've got balls of yarn all over the place with nothing to do is a book like this with mm -hmm. a simple stab binding. Okay. And what you do with that is that you take the, the paper and a simple hole punch, mm -hmm. punch five holes, and then get a piece of yarn and pull it through okay, you from hole to through. hole. Yeah, so a piece of yarn like this, mm -hmm. looping it around and around and around until you get So you this. made your own little book. Yep. You could use it as a journal, whatever you like. Maybe that's a great idea. Now I just wanted to quickly mention that you do have some things for Earth Day, that's and right. here of course we're celebrating Earth Week. Um, you have this card, so this is lovely seed paper. It feels so nice. Yeah, it's nice and fly. It's got that neat texture to it because yeah. of the seed. No, that's fantastic. And also you've got. Uh, I know that you have some books that people wanted to find out how to make some, you know, different kinds of paper yeah. that you do. Just tell me a little bit. You've got these. Those are uh, great resources. Yeah. yeah, those are books. I wrote those with my mom, Mary Reimer, mm -hmm. and 300 paper making recipes has literally 300 different <laughs> types of paper in there. I can't so. even imagine 300 different types of paper to tell you the truth. Well, you should have seen us trying to write the book. Yeah. <laughs>
I bet. Yeah. So this is great. So if people wanted to find out more, of course, they can um, always pick that up. And if they want to get crafty, and there's lots of great stuff in here. And also, you brought down a great uh, prize for us to give away. Yeah. So thank you for this. And tell My us pleasure. just quickly what's in here. Well, there's $100 worth of product in there, including a gift certificate. You mm -hmm. can use online for anything, including personalized products, Wonderful. like favors, and then journals and cards and just a nice selection of products. Okay, beautiful. And so, you know what? Uh, if you want your chance to win this prize, just go to send us an email, contest at btwinnipeg.ca. And oh, here's some photos. Yeah, that's actual paper in bloom. So from clients wow. who planted the paper and it grew into that gorgeous pot of flowers. Wow, so I could plant this and I could, and I have no green thumb whatsoever. <laughs> so I have to just put this into some soil yeah. and have those beautiful wildflowers. So again, yeah. contest at btwinnipeg.ca. And there again, some more beautiful mm -hmm. uh, flowers from the seed paper. Thank you so much for coming down, Heidi. Thanks really for having appreciate me. appreciate it. And oh. Great ideas that you gave us as well. We're going to take a break here on Breakfast Television. We've got a lot more coming up after this. BT Earth Day is brought to you in part by Nabob. Better beans, better coffee, better planet.